guys, take a look at this. Look at how absolutely gorgeous it is. Mike, can you hold this snake for me for a second? Oh, wow. It's amazing. The thing I love about this water bowl is the fact that it has a deli cup that actually fits right into it. And Jessica actually made it. But before we talk about this and what we're going to do to re replicate this, I actually want to show you how this whole thing began. For a bunch of years, we've been using these deli cups. This is basically just a coupling, right? Like this. And then the deli cup goes right in here. That way you can just either recycle this deli cup or wash it out really quick, replace them. But to be honest with you, they don't look all that good. And what I mean by that is when you have a display like this, but you have a white PVC cup, it doesn't actually blend in. It's not very naturalistic. And we're trying to do everything as naturalistic as possible. Hence the reason why Jessica actually spent some time and figured out how she could coat this with either Universal Rock or I've got another thing. So later on in the vlog, I'm going to show you a way to do it without Universal Rock but to make it look as natural as possible. But it was a lot of work. Even a traditional bowl like this, which is just a dog bowl we use to actually feed chicken strip, it just doesn't look very good, right? It doesn't match this naturalistic thing. We're going to take a look at how Jessica did it and actually try to make it as simple as possible. So I'm going to take you guys on a step-by-step -step process of how I'm going to do this. But the first thing we have to do is we know that the coupling itself is a little over four inches, but we have to actually measure the other part, which is six inches right here. Now this right here is actually universal rock, which is this right here. And it's wrapped around a deli cup like this, right? So what we have to do is actually make a little bit of a template that's going to make this really easy. So let's go and cut some wood. Things you're going to need for this DIY project, great foam, $3.99. A PVC coupling, about five bucks. Some scrap wood, hopefully laying around the house. And if you take the universal route, this is going to toss you about 10 bucks, but again, it is optional. So the hardest part about putting the universal rock around that coupling was to keep it in place while you foam and it actually adheres, right? So we have to make a template. I came up with this idea that's pretty simple, but keep in mind, I might mess this up, or if you're doing something like this, you might mess it up a couple times. Don't be afraid to try because eventually you will perfect it. So now I have the frame and I've got this. I'm going to put a top and a bottom to it. And then I have to figure out where the hole is going to go, cut the hole in the center. And that'll be kind of my jig for actually making a bowl to screw this down. Now I just have to find the center here to each of these things. So I've got go over five and three quarters on this one, five and three quarters on this one. And that should be my center point there. We are all set. That is where the hole needs to go on this side. Flip it over, do the exact same thing on the other side. <laughs> this thing is actually a six inch hole saw. So what I'm gonna do is just see where my hole is to start with. So there it is. There is my actual template here. Now we can get started on the actual fun part. Remember me talking about making mistakes? Well, guess what? I wanted this to go in here. There's a little bit of a, a gap here. So I should have actually made this thing that is five inches tall. I should have made it a little less than four inches tall. So I'm gonna have to disassemble this, cut down the two by fours and make this four inches tall so that when this goes in there, the actual universal rock actually has something to go against. So uh, again, make mistakes and you fix them. Looks like Mike is actually sleeping on the job over here. You getting some rest, buddy? Actually, I think he's actually feeding Tyson. By the way, if you guys don't mind, you could go over to Reptile Army. Right now, everybody that buys something from reptilearmy.com is gonna get a personal video thank you from me. So go over to reptilearmy.com. Mike, See, sometimes mistakes aren't a big deal. Looks even better than the first time. Now I put this in here, perfect, I love it. I don't mind that it's a little bit up because I actually want the lip to be a little bit down too. This is actually perfect in here and hey, it all worked out. Now we actually have to figure out the circumference of this hole so that the universal rock can go all the way around it like this, right? And how do we find the circumference of a hole? Takes me back to geometry. Pretty simple, it's actually the diameter, which is six inches times pi, 3.14, which is 18.8. Eight, now we don't have to get that technical here. We know that 18.84 is a little over 18 and three quarters of an inch. So I'll just go ahead and cut this 18 and three quarters of an inch, just a little bit longer than that. And that should make my entire circle around here. Well, thankfully I have an entire pile of universal rock, but I know you guys probably don't. So later in the vlog, I'm gonna show you how to do a coupling like this, where you can use it for a water bowl without the universal rock. Trust me, you're gonna want gloves. So in theory, this should be about the right size, about the right length and everything like that. And if it's a little bit off, it's okay because it's supposed to be natural. So natural things don't have straight lines. See how it's kind of wavy? I want that, right? Coupling right in the center and you just wrap this around. See, this is where smart people are smarter than me. Is that I didn't think about the fact that there's the width of the actual material. To be totally honest with you, I don't mind that it overlaps like this. Now I would give you one piece of advice. Use a piece of board or cardboard or something like that because great stuff gets on everything and ruins everything. I'm not 
really that unhappy with this, to be honest. I want this to be a little bit further over. Now we've got kind of a good round circle. We make sure it's pressed all up against the wall. It doesn't really matter if this is the top or bottom. And you see how the top is gonna be a little bit jagged? I like it, actually. I don't mind that at all. All right, now we're gonna set the bowl in here like this, and we can always trim this later, right? That's the beauty of this whole thing, is that it's not permanent, right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually start at the very bottom, and I'm gonna start great stuff foaming all this down here. All the way down at the bottom first, go right around in circles, and fill it all up. You can manipulate this around a little bit. It's gonna expand a little bit too, but we're gonna trim that all off once this dries. It's gonna take a few hours to dry. I'm gonna go right to the top here, right? So that the bowl will actually sit and be concave just a little bit, and there you go. Now it's just a matter of, again, when I come back with a nice I'll trim all that off, trim this down, and then we'll actually seam it and make it look really good. For this, this is perfect. So that's how you would make the water bowl. For now, I'll show you how it kind of really dresses up when we're done. But for now, we're gonna let that dry. Let's go ahead and look at a coupling if you don't have Universal Rock. Let's say you don't have Universal Rock. Great foam can work perfectly well without it, too. This is where it's gonna get a little bit dirty, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and foam the entire thing. So here we go, all the way around, get everything all foamed up. All right, good. Just kind of do some little touch-ups here and there. Make sure I've got coverage all the way around. It's a little bit more needed right over here. Woohoo! I know it doesn't look like much, and you're probably saying, Brian, you're absolutely out of your mind. I'm telling you, this one's gonna look really cool too. It's gonna look different than the Universal Rock one. It's still gonna be very functional and pretty awesome. So now we have to just wait a little bit and do some other reptile work. Oh, Tabasco, the joys. As you guys know, Tabasco has been going through maturity. We all know that he beat up Sriracha, and he's still very territorial. You're gonna see what happens. I mean, I don't even know. Are you in a good mood today, or are you in a bad mood? Because you look like you're in a bad mood. Hey. Hey, don't you hit me with that tail. Don't do it. It's so weird. Like, he goes from just being in his normal, oh, I love everybody, to like this jack wagon of an iguana. <laughs> He's doing pretty good. Now, help. Oh, my finger? You did, didn't you? This is letting him smell me. I'm gonna beat you up. Oh, no, I want love. I'm gonna beat you up. Hormones. Am I right? Don't do it. I'll scoot over. I'm putting dirt in. Dirt. Lots of dirt. No. No. You touch a cool boy. I know, I moved you. Oh my goodness. How could I possibly touch you? Got the step stool. OSHA! <laughs> In a world of OSHA violation. And there goes McDoucher. He wants to come get pets and love and snuggles. And then there's that side of him where it's just the chemicals in his brain are like, oh, I'm the biggest, I'm the baddest, I'm the only one in this enclosure. This is my house, my territory. Can we get this out of the mold? Looks like it's actually not too bad. So this stuff expands a lot and it came out. Look at that. So obviously all that expansion right there, what we're gonna do is just basically first off, kind of take all this foam off here, little foam that came out here, just pop that off. So basically it's just a matter of doing a lot of cleaning up all around here. Comes off pretty easy to be honest with you. Ooh, don't stab yourself. Start to see it's taking a little shape now. Get all the foam off the actual coupling itself because we are gonna paint that. Then you can take a little wire brush like this and just kind of wire brush all this stuff off. This is basically the outline. Again, we're gonna seam all this up here in a second, and then the cup just fits right in here like that. So now you can actually remove the cup. Again, you can recycle this, you can buy new ones, you can wash them, do whatever you want. Kinda looks pretty cool, right? But once we seam it up, it's gonna look way, way better. That's the next step, and I'll show you how we do that. But before we get onto the seaming, I'm gonna show you that this white inside here, we wanna actually color with some spray paint. The clear plastic cups you're gonna see in there, you're gonna see through and you're gonna see the white. We don't wanna see that. So just gonna do a quick spray of this, hide all of the white, and that's that. On to seaming. Next step, we're just gonna actually put a bunch of silicone all around here. I prefer to use the dark one just because it's a little bit better. And I'm just gonna kind of coat this entire area here. You'd say, ah, oh, that doesn't even look that good. Trust me, when we get this feathered out, you'll see how it looks. So nice thick layer here, covering as much of the foam as possible. You take a brush like this, and this is actually little powdered cement dust here, and we just go like this, dabbing it on. And it covers all of those little areas, right? All the little imperfections kind of just go away. And you guys thought I was just a snake guy. Turns out I'm an artiste. Do the exact same thing with the seam, like that, back to it. And you don't have to be super perfect. As a matter of fact, it's better to not be perfect because nature has all kinds of imperfections. And it actually makes it look more natural if things are not quite perfect. Then look at that, that seam completely disappeared. So now we have basically entire thing. We just gotta let this dry and it's ready to go into an enclosure. That's how you do the universal rock one. Let's go look at the all foam one. So nobody knows but they left a vlog camera and I just wanted to let all you guys know I like ice cream. 
Moving on to the Just Foam one. Obviously, this is just a big piece of foam. This is the cheapest one, right? Because it only costs about maybe $8 to get to this point. And basically, now what you want to do is just kind of start shaving this down. Again, you could be as creative as you want. If you want to make it look like little rocky things, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to keep it pretty simple, to be totally honest with you. I definitely want a little contour on it. So I'm going to just kind of shave it down like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get the shape I want. Super simple to work with. You can work with it with a knife, a razor blade, a sawzall. I mean, whatever you want to work it with it. It's actually going to get covered with a, a bunch of like peat and sphagnum and moss and stuff like that. So you're not going to really see much of the contouring, but you can get as creative as you want. And you can build entire enclosures like this too. You know, if you have a terrarium and you want to foam it out like this and get super creative, I mean, you might have a lot of hours into carving and all that type of stuff, but you can really make some amazing things. I tell you what, great stuff foam is pretty darn awesome. And make sure to hit that like button if you'd like to see me do an entire enclosure out of this foam. My inspiration for this is kind of like Devil's Tower in South Dakota. So that's why I'm making all these little kind of ridges like this where over time, you know, you're gonna see water erosion on a mountaintop or something like that. So now we're gonna move on to actually covering this, which is where the real magic happens. But first, a little coat of spray paint. What we're gonna coat this with is a little ABG, a little bit of coconut, and a little bit of sphagnum. But the first thing you gotta do, and this is where it gets a little bit messy, is coat this entire thing with silicone. Every little piece, so all this whole thing has to be siliconed out. All right, so this is where it gets fun. We want coverage, right? Because again, all of that ABG and coconut husk and sphagnum needs to have something to bind to. You know, bring out your inner child, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, that's good. It's like making a chocolate cake. You guys may not know this, but I have this kind of weird quirk that I hate to get messy and hate to get things on my fingers so even with the gloves on it's kind of creeping me out a little bit so it looks pretty cool on its own right but now this is where the magic happens you actually start putting stuff on it right start making it actually something more and again I'm gonna start with this ABG hold everything with this ABG a little bit not too much because I want there to be room for other stuff too right so I'm gonna put it like that then I'm gonna take some coconut husk and kind of come back and do the same thing kind of just coat it like this again all that silicone disappears and then even come back with just a little bit of sphagnum moss see if I can't stick a little sphagnum on here so that it looks a little bit more natural and this is why I was saying you don't have to get too artistic I mean if you want to make some really deep grooves or something like that you can but you know it pretty much gets covered up with all of this other stuff, right? So there you have it, a natural looking water bowl, something that you would find maybe out in the wild at the base of a tree. It costs about eight bucks to make in a little bit of your time. And now, of course, the fun part. This is the water bowl that used to be in there. Would only hold about six ounces of water. Now, of course, these deli cups are 16 ounces. And look at this, slides right in here like this and we can replace it. Now I can put it in here, matches the kind of decor, absolutely incredible. And now this snake has about three times more water than it usually has. And the same thing with this one here, I'm gonna go ahead take out the water dish it actually doesn't have that much water in it you just have to be sure you put the right one that fits in look at how good that one blends right in now the water's in there it's amazing so it not only is super functional but looks really good I'm, I'm over the top happy the way they turned out you know it's a little departure from a normal vlog but I get excited about this stuff when I can actually improve not only the quality of care of our animals but also the way things look I get excited I hope that you enjoyed it if you did enjoy this video here's a playlist of me building a whole bunch of stuff here at the Reptarium you can also subscribe over on this side it would mean the world to me have an absolutely wonderful day Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you in the next one.